Metal and other materials allegedly recovered from UFOs was stored in converted buildings in Las Vegas under a U.S. government-funded program, it has astonishingly been claimed. The material, that was said to be unknown to science following tests, was stored in buildings modified by a private aerospace company which was paid huge amounts of money by the U.S. Department of Defense to research the phenomenon and look after the metal alloys, according to reports. However, no images have surfaced of the alleged material, nor have any details of where it was found, or any reports of tests carried out on it. Details of the $22 million, 16.5 million pounds, Top Secret Department of Defense Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program investigating the threat posed by UFOs, that supposedly looked at the material, was revealed this weekend. The New York Times reported that the project ran from 2007 to 2012 and the money was used for management of the program, research and assessments of the threat posed by the objects. It was run by military intelligence official, Luis Elizondo on the fifth floor of the Pentagon Sea Ring. Mr. Elizondo, who resigned to form UFO Research Group to the Stars Academy with former Blink-182 singer Tom DeLonges, said that the effort secretly continues and that he has a successor, whom he declined to name. The bulk of the money went to Bigelow Aerospace in Las Vegas, run by billionaire U.S. businessman Robert Bigelow, who is also working with NASA to create a new expandable spacecraft. In May Mr. Bigelow stunned the world by declaring during an interview with primetime CBS current affairs show 60 Minutes, that believes that intelligent aliens are secretly living on Earth, and the government knows about it. It is now claimed that under his direction buildings at the company headquarters were modified to allow the storage of the materials. No further details have been released at this stage about where they were found, how many there are, or what happened to them. It also does not appear any official reports on the materials have been released, but it is claimed that research was also carried out on people who came into contact with the material to see if there were any effects on them. Mr. Bigelow said in the 60 Minutes interview he had spent millions researching the subject. He said, I spent millions and millions and millions, I probably spent more as an individual than anybody else in the United States has ever spent on this subject. The project was originally funded at the request of former Senator Harry Reid, who retired from Congress this year. The Nevada Democrat, who was the Senate Majority Leader at the time, allowed the money to go to his friend Mr. Bigelow's company. Mr. Reid said his interest in UFOs was actually sparked by Mr. Bigelow, who told him that a defense intelligence agency, DIA, official had approached him wanting to visit Mr. Bigelow's ranch in Utah, where he conducted research. After learning this, Mr. Reed said he met with agency officials and was told they wanted to resume research into UFOs. Express.co.th has approached Mr. Bigelow through Bigelow Aerospace to try to find out what happened to the material, if he still has it, and whether it can be photographed, or any reports on studies on it can be released. We have also contacted Mr. Reed, and Mr. Elizondo through to the Stars Academy asking if they know what became of the materials. We await responses from all three.